as we gather together today to celebrate the life, death and resurrection of our Lord and Saviour, let's just take a moment to think of each other in our own homes, taking part of this service in our own ways, in our favourite spot in the house, in our favourite COVID clothes, and remember that we are the church. We are his people and the power of the church is in each one of us. So let's gather together as one and pray. Lord, we come before you with humility in our hearts. We confess our sins to you. We ask for your forgiveness. We remember any unresolved conflict that's in our hearts and we seek reconciliation through you. We thank you for all you went through for us on the cross, that we might be reminded of you, that we might have a new life through you, that we might have a relationship with you, that you opened the gates of heaven just for us. Lord, we are in constant need of you in our lives. We are dependent totally on you. And in your precious name, Jesus, we pray. In, Lu in, the, in Luke, we read um, the account of the Last Supper. And the last six words of this particular paragraph in, in verse 20 Lord Jesus says, do this in remembrance of me. And Paul's reminder in Corinthians are, um, is our motivation for why we come, why we take communion together as Jesus' followers. When we receive Jesus during communion, he takes up residence within us and we become more and more like him. Paul wrote, I live, no longer I, but Christ that lives in me. We are to become who we receive. So let's take communion and read through Luke 22, verses 17 to 20. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you, for I tell you I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to them saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup and he said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's finish in prayer. Lord Jesus, we just thank you that you are a God of, of love, that you had a plan for each and every one of us and you sent your son so that we might follow his ways and become more and more like him. And today, Lord, we just lay at his feet all those things that we need to just um, to give up and all those things Lord that are hindering our relationship with you we just thank you for your death your life, death and resurrection and that through you we now have a way that makes us closer to you 
and the doors of heaven are open to us. In your precious name we pray. Amen.